So what were we doing last time? What, what's what's this? What, what's... Um, we're going on the ice island, and I. Wait, got oh yeah, you failed off. the ice island. <laughs> yeah, I failed the island. All right, well, let's let's try it again. This time, Dave, you'll be okay. Maybe, I don't know. Will you? Who knows? Hopefully. We have five minutes. Isn't that more from last time? Did that give you more time because you you fucked it up in the previous attempt? <laughs> Da -da 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 -da. Look how fast that moon goes, it's like just plumbing to the ground Majora's Mask saw. Yep. Good for it. <laughs> <laughs> so today is the day of E3. It's the second day of E3, actually. And Nintendo just showed off uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Gales. No, Breath, Breath of, of the, the Wild. <laughs> Breath of the Wild. What did you think of it, Dave? I think it looks pretty phenomenal. Yeah. Um, when Dev first mentioned it, because he saw, he'd seen the, the live feed mm -hmm. far before I did. Yep. Um, I had just watched the the HD trailer for Skyrim HD remake for Skyrim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it just like is wasn't it already HD? Yeah, I don't quite get why they're like. Um, Wind Waker I got, because it went from an SD game to HD. Yeah. Skyrim was already 1080. It went 1080 to uh, probably 2K. Or, actually, no, I guess before. Actually, I don't, even think, I don't even think they increased resolution. I think they just, um... What, just suck a few dicks? They just made the textures look better. In fact, people are saying that, like, Skyrim's... The, like, Skyrim HD looks about on par with Skyrim with, like, mods. <laughs> well, that's just it. But like, like, like fans already made Skyrim HD, you know, years ago. Yeah, basically. they did. They made it on PC. Yep. So basically, what's happening is a bunch of console Whoa, Dave. fuckers. <laughs> okay, there you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bunch of console kids said, "Oh my god." Oh, uh, Jay. Yeah, I, I want to play the game with all the mods. So I want to see um, Macho Man Randy Savage as a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've all that was great, man. We've all seen Game Grumps before. <laughs> it was it was before it was previous to Game Grumps. Yeah, but Game Grumps made that mod popular because they played it on their show. Well, okay. Well, you know what? Game Grumps can go suck a thousand. Uh, anyways, you you had just seen um, Skyrim HD, so when I so when, when, you when said I described, it, well, it's like Skyrim. I said, oh wow, how how wonderful. We have two, two Skyrims coming out this time. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like Breath of the Wild looks better than Skyrim. Um... Because now we've seen... Because I think it Afterwards, looks... you and I watch the actual gameplay of, like, you know, Link wakes up and he... He finds the Sheikah tablet or whatever, and then he, like, goes out into the open world. I think they both look good in a way. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, you're already full. Um... Suck all my dicks! <laughs> all of my dicks, not just the one. That's right. Mm. But... With, um, Breath of the Wild, dude... It just looks fucking incredible. I can't even like describe it, it just looks good. I'm at a loss for words. Nice. You got one at least. <laughs> Dude, I'm just trying to not fall off here, okay? Like, oh, is that the uh That's it. This is what this is what I can't That was a lot shorter than the fire one. It's also more annoying. Yeah, I guess. What did you get? Iron boots. Iron boots. Nice. Makes yeah, no but sense. you put them on, then you will, you know, just sink right to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> so, uh... Wait, do, what, happens, what happens if you put them on while swimming in the ocean? Do you just die? I don't know if I've ever tried, because it just seemed so... Let's you know, try it. ...logical. But also, it, what makes what, what doesn't make sense is the fact that Link, uh, when he's not wearing the iron boots... Oh, hello. ...you know, has the iron boots in his inventory, and therefore should still be weighed down. Yeah, well, magic. Oh, is that it? Yeah. I mean, this oh, is this is previous to... We're even deeper into the pit, into the ice pit now. Oh, fuck, dude. After 10,000 years, I'm free! I <laughs> <laughs> damn you, Rita Repulsa. <laughs> Everything's coming back. Yeah. Anyway, um, Breath of the Wild looks fucking phenomenal. I mean, it's got more realism to it, which is nice. Well, no, not not realism because it's still like a cel shaded game. I mean, realism in terms of gameplay, not in terms of what. Yeah, but like the fact it looks, it looks like something. It, it, it kind of reminds me of Ghibli a bit, a little bit. No, I, I just like that they're finally making a Western RPG styled Zelda. Because like Link walks up, opens the first two chests, at least in the demo, 
and it was like like um was it like a leather shirt and leather pants? Yeah, it has a, a, it has yeah, a, a, a description. He's got a jerkin and, and some trousers. Yeah, right. it has like a description and it has like a defense rating and you can like have you have a big old inventory that looks almost like a Dark Souls inventory in a sense. But like you then you you start equipping it and you just start going around and fighting people. You can like roll rocks and you can. Oh shit! What you out of magic? You are out of magic. Oh my god! Maybe I can. Heck up. <laughs> Wait, doesn't doesn't the elixir suit refill magic and hearts? Is it? I don't know, check it out. Press start. What's the... Oh, I don't think it does. I think it just... No, 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 check. There's a, a description to it, dude. Right. <laughs> oh. Info. A. Right. Yeah, and oh, magic yeah. power. Yes, okay. there you go. Okay, well, Delicious I'm... granny piss. Yo. I've got to get that, uh... That granny update. loves her semen catheter. You know, I can't remember what bombs are these, too. I don't know. Probably not. I mean, this this is like a one-trick pony Zelda. Not compared to Breath of the Wild. <laughs> this dick you will suck for a thousand years. <laughs> well, I, did, I did discover it when that came out. True. <laughs> In any case, uh, I do feel like we should be playing Breath of the Wild right now and not this fucking shit. Fuck well, Waker, dude. It's such a piece of shit now. Compared to Breath of the Wild. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Yeah, you did it. This is what the master sword should look like. All glowy and stuff. You know, yeah. Stuff. Stiff. Oh, oh, look. It's probably another. It's probably Breath of the Wild. Isn't there an advanced copy just for us? Shut up, Dev. <laughs> God. Um. So I haven't seen a lot of the the live feed for it because I watched like an hour of it. Yeah. And like, well, we were supposed to record Wind Waker, and Dave's like, "Devin, get out of your room. We're watching. We're playing." I'm like, "I'm watching a Superior Zelda right now." Yeah. <laughs> I had to almost yank him out by his pull string. We'll get the chest, but there it is. But I have It's a ticket to see it, to see Breath of the Wild in theaters. Oh, shut up, God! <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, he's such an idiot. <laughs> I would trade Naomi for a copy of Breath of the yes, Wild. Yes, I know. You've already spoken of your white slavery. I did say that I would do that, but off the show, Dave. Remember, Dave. Whenever things happen off the show, it doesn't happen at all. You know, what, what happens off the show stays off the show. Oh, okay, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> So now is the is the island permanently like just open to you now, or do you have to like unfreeze every time you want to come here? Um, you want me to join you? I guess. I don't even remember because mm. I don't really pay attention to this place anymore. Yeah, you don't have to come back, do you? I think it remains open. Oh, okay. Now calling Tingle. <laughs> Tingle's bringing us a copy of Breath of the Wild. <laughs> He's floating in on his balloon. Anyways, um, I was, you know, I'm excited for it. There are other things from E3 that I'm also excited for. Like what? What, what could possibly be more interesting? Not more interesting, just as interesting, or nearly as interesting. Like Horizon. That mm -hmm. looks like a pretty good game. Mass Effect Andromeda looks good. That also looks good, that looks yeah. really good, yeah. Um... <laughs> Actually, what what I watched a lot of uh, the entirety of was the 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 basically the introduction of the new South Park game, <laughs> <laughs> the fractured butthole. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, I love this like a truth, man. That is such a funny game, and it's like okay when it comes down to the the whole RPG elements, it's it's a very very kind of vanilla-ish game, and that's I mean they 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 went for that because well fuck it. But um, no, they wanted they wanted something that that reflected a lot of old school RPGs, and they got it. Okay, before we continue this conversation on something that means absolutely nothing, because it's not the new Zelda game. Shut the fuck up. Uh, where are we going next? We're going up there. To Windfall. Well, that or go see Granny or Electra Sue. We, we still have like one more dose. We didn't even use it at all during I know, our, our adventure in, in the Earth Temple. So fuck it, let's go. We do- you know what we do need to do? Is what? get more fucking magic power. I'm Why? Trying. Because, like, I'm using those fire arrows? We start, a lot. start using me. Don't worry about it, man. As soon as, oh, oh. as, as soon as Breath of the Wild comes out, there will be no magic meter. It'll be more advanced, and you don't have to worry about it anymore. 
Would you stop sucking the dick of a game that's not even out yet? I mean, for all we know, it could be absolute shit. It's gonna be amazing, you know it. What if it's super buggy? Well, then Nintendo will patch it. Like they can with the Wii U now. Oh! <laughs> Congratulations! You get the power to patch games that are so fucking buggy to be unplayable. Um, there are oh, a few things I can do here. Okay, well go ahead. Go ahead and do them while I talk about a better game. Um, I know that I, I, I think that was one thing at the start of the conference. I mean, Reggie was like, "Okay, uh, Orlando just happened, so let's uh, let's devote our Nintendo life to these non-lives." Um, wow, Dev. <laughs> I'm wow. sorry. Wow. I'm sorry. Wow. That after is, that, someone that's part of that community, technic <laughs> by by technicality. Wow. <laughs> but you're just a horrible person. But uh, after that, he was like, "Okay, uh, now that the necessary BS is over." Let's talk about Zelda. Let's talk about <laughs> Zelda. And he says, this, it's coming to Wii U and NX. He said that. Yeah. It was, it was like the, the tiniest, littlest mention, but he said NX. And people who listened were like, ooh ha ha! What are we doing? I thought we were going to the dungeon. I mean, all last session we did nothing, Dave. There we go. You Good did one. it. You can turn on the wind. Yeah. You can, you can, you can be the breath of the gales. <laughs> There's just a couple of secrets I wanted to exploit here. Inclu I mean, you also want to get all that stuff that's- BOOM! <laughs> I had to. I had to. You were- <laughs> It was- <laughs> it Here was... we go. Breath of the Wild. <laughs> it was so <laughs> worth it. Okay, there is- Did you notice in Breath of the Wild's UI, there was one, like, a hunger and thirst meter. So it's gonna be like hardcore uh, yeah. Fallout New Vegas version. We have to like hunt and, and eat and drink to actually Yeah, there's, to there's like alive. nuts and whatever, yeah. fruits you can you, get. You can like, store you, a certain you, you amount can, of you, you can chop trees and like use wood to build things. You can be a blacksmith and like build armor. Did you notice though, there's a sound meter. Did you I see that? I didn't see that part. It's a little circle in the corner. Maybe maybe a camera lady or can, can find it. There's a little circle in the corner, like a black circle. And as you take footsteps, you see a sound wave go across it. And the idea is like you can actually sneak up on enemies, and that will show you what kind of sound you're making, how loud it is, and like and like you can like walk through different terrains or wear different shoes and like make more or less sound. So it's gonna be a lot more advanced than Banjo Tooie, <laughs> <laughs> which is just like just just tiptoe. <laughs> I'm like like Zelda's believe it or not, Zelda's almost always had a stealth section. You know, every Zelda, what are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Just go up there. You could have gotten off. I wanted to do it from a distance. God, I wish there was a distance between you and I right now. A misunderstanding <laughs> that we stop and look at the eye. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> but no, they're they're basically making um, a Western style RPG, like a Skyrim, like a Fallout, like I, I don't know, was Baldur's Gate like that? Like, basically Western style RPG. Purely open world, quests, exploration, you know, like cra lines, I guess. crafting, exploring, scavenging, eating, cooking, you know? Just like basically a full on Western RPG. Has there even been a Japanese company that's tried to make a Western RPG like that before? Probably. I can't think of one. What are you doing? I need to like that. How? I don't know. <laughs> When you appear, the flying signal will return, the light that sees at night. Nice. Wait, can you turn this thing at all? No. Because it's facing, like, if it was turned 90 degrees, you could actually shoot it just from... I'm trying to remember how the hell I did it before. If you, if you, if you change the direction of the wind, maybe as the wind turns, it, it also turns? I thought I was, I thought I had to do it from... I honestly had to, thought I had to do it from, from the wheel, from the Ferris wheel. I want to like keep the Breath of the Wild uh, talk isolated to this episode. Yeah, see, it's moving now. That's what, see, the, yeah, I got to do it at night. Well, yeah, because it's rotating at night, right? Yeah. Okay. Which means I have to do it from one of. So we can just hop on next. But yeah, I, I want to keep this Breath of the Wild talk isolated to just one episode. So I'm just gonna round it off before we end the episode here. Um, they are people are d taking note of certain things said. Um, in the trailer and in, in, in the the gameplay that we've seen so far to try and place it in a timeline One there's Koroks in the game from Wind Waker Okay, so people are thinking maybe this is past Wind Waker and Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks And maybe it's past them 
Two, they talk heavily about a Hyrule in decline. Like Hyrule Kingdom has been completely destroyed at this point, and there's like no one living there. It's all just like bandits and stuff. Mm -hmm. And you and you get to see um, a ruined um, Ocarina of Time, um, Temple of Time. One of the first places that, that you go, at least at least in the demo, is is the ruined Temple of Time. Oh really? Yeah. Like, like you. Here, okay, the game starts with Link waking up. He, he's like in a stasis pod, and there's like high technology. I'm serious. Really? Yeah. The, uh, and so, but here's the thing: the high technology are making people think that it's from the past before Skyward Sword. Well, because what if it's the Skyward Sword guy or the original, the original original Link? Yeah. This isn't has no idea what's going on. Well, well, yeah. Well, well here, here's the story. Like, one before Skyward Sword, Hyrule was a highly technologically advanced place. It could be during that period, or it could be long after that period, and you're playing as the first Link ever, just far in the future. Yeah. But th but there's there's more technology in this game than other games. Um, two, it could be past Wind Waker because of the Koroks. Three, oh, oh. I just, <laughs> Bruce blinds him. <laughs> ah! What does this do now? Oh, nice. Bad. He's got a chest. Okay, cool. Um, three. You can, use, you can just throw it over there. Just jump down and use it, use your... Yeah! Oh, it's the wrong way. Oh, this isn't a good... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> just kidding! <laughs> In any case, um, so it could be after Wind Waker and after that, that ocean timeline. Because of the presence of Koroks. Three, um, people are thinking it's a direct sequel to the original Zelda and Zelda 2. Ooh. Because... The story of Zelda and Zelda 2 was that Hyrule was destroyed, remember? Like, if you if you look at the Zelda 1 map and compare it to the Link to the Past map, they specifically made things look very similar. However, in Link to the Past, there was a town and there's a giant graveyard in in uh, Zelda 1. In, in the Hyrule Historia, you know, Zeldas 1 and 2 are considered to be, like, the timeline where Ganon won and everything fucked up, you know? Yep. I think it's plausible. I hadn't thought of it, but then again, I hadn't seen enough. I've only seen a few minutes of it. I liked what I saw, um, and I mean, I personally didn't care so Wait, much. Wait, is that the chest you gotta get? Okay. Yeah. Oh. That's what I was for. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Like right on the edge of the tingle map. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Pokemon is like, okay, I, I'm gonna Yeah, they showed some Pokemon this. today too. Like, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm gonna come across this eventually. Who yeah. gives a shit? But yeah, I, I I'm really I'm, I was very pleased by the by the fact that the um, whoever the hell it was who was there, um, Reggie, no Miyamoto, was it? It didn't. Okay, and there's it, there's it, also Anuma was there too. It's probably Anuma because me like, I I've never seen Miyamoto with a beard before. That was Anuma. That was Anuma. Okay. Well, okay. yeah, he said yeah directly. It is you know, it is it is related to animation like Japanese animation. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, well, um, we're going to try and contain all of our E3, uh, at least Ze E3 Zelda talk just this episode, just to kind of make yeah. things easy for us. So next episode, we're going to talk about something else, and Dave's going to head off to the Wind Temple. We'll see you then, dudes. The breath. The breath is on fire. <laughs> the breath. <laughs> you, do people ask for us to play Breath of Fire, for fuck's oh, sake? Fuck that. <laughs> I don't mind playing it. You know it. the last time I played that game was? When? Fucking second year of university. It was a good game. It was good, and I got that one weird ass d dungeon under the sea. You just gave it up. Mm -hmm. The end is now. Oh, you still ignored his warning. <laughs> Testify. Did, did you feel the snow? Witness the eclipse? Seen the dying animals? The signs are upon you. Praise the Lord. Arcadia Bay is the final battleground for Pazuzu. Oh, yes. Isaiah 66 verses 15 to 16. Oh god, said, you're clipping so much. <laughs> For behold, the law will come in fire, and his chariots like the whirlwind to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. For the Lord will execute judgment by fire. Save your soul today. Repent. Repent for the Lord. Join the Church of Final Revelations this month to get <laughs> free dispensation Christ. from hell! Watch this Arcadia Bay Access, Public Access Channel oh 40. God. Contact Pastor Cruz at CFRProductions.org.
praise Jesus.